All right, guys, welcome to Pharmacology. We're gonna go over a few of the medications that you're gonna be using in the field and why you're gonna be using them. All right, so the first one's gonna be used for poisonings and it's called Ipecac syrup. And I want you to picture this, vomit volcano. I mean, I'm talking unstoppable, uncontrollable, emesis explosion in the back of your ambulance that'll make everyone regret every decision they've ever made. So what if we don't want them to vomit? Well, in those cases, you would use Phenergan. And in small doses, that stuff is amazing. With the small caveat that if you give too much, they're gonna have massive hallucinations. Why are we even using that? I know, I mean, why? Aren't having massive hallucinations gonna jack their heart rate up really bad? What do you have for that? Oh, we have adenosine. That stuff is great, dude. I mean, it slows down the heart while simultaneously giving a heart attack to any medical professionals that are giving it by stopping the patient's heart for six seconds or so. I don't want that. Will it start back up? We'll see. All right, well, what if someone just falls down, they have a little bit of pain, you got anything for that? Ah, you give them morphine, it's got all the addictive traits of opioids without any of the actual pain relieving benefits. I mean, I've given someone 40 milligrams of that stuff, but I'm pretty sure I gotta give them two ibuprofen, they would have better pain relief. 40 milligrams? What if someone overdoses? Ah, Narcan, man, best medication on the truck. When that stuff's given slowly, it returns the respiratory drive almost immediately. Whoa, whoa, whoa you, you said slow. What happens if we slam it? Remember when we talked about emesis explosions? Try to catch me howling at the moon. Ooh, ooh. 